The Abington School District will tackle a hot button issue tonight, armed guards at schools. Alicia Reed is live at Abington High School with more. Alicia. I'm told the district is expecting upwards of a thousand people at tonight's board meeting. It was initially moved from the district office to the elementary school, and now it will be held in the Abington High Auditorium. I have concerns about anybody carrying firearms in the school, so I'm, I just want to be sure that um, there isn't a legal reason to not have to for them to be um, carrying them. The community is in an uproar over comments made by school board director Tamar Clayman speaking out against armed officers in schools. The incoming board member said she felt it posed a threat to black and brown boys. The remarks didn't sit well with a number of parents who felt she was attacking the Abington Township Police Department. She has since apologized, but some area residents were still inflamed. Things don't just go away because you apologize. People are waiting for real actionable items. We're developing those actionable items. We're going to have resources behind it. We're going to put money behind it. We're going to put people behind it. But it really unfortunately is the nature of the world today. For decades, the Abington Township Police Department has been fostering positive relationships with students from early on. The department says officers read to students at the elementary level, teach community policing and other health and safety instruction. So Dr. Clayman's comments came as a shock. During the outrage, local organizations are working to spark meaningful discussion. Pastor Marshall Mitchell met with Abington Police Chief Patrick Malloy and the board director that is currently in the hot seat. Hopefully it will be very calm tonight. There will be public presentations. I'm sure the school board member will apologize again. The chief of police will absolutely accept her apology and we'll build from there. School resource officers will continue carrying weapons on campus. Meanwhile, Dr. Clayman says she wants to find out more about policing initiatives on campuses. Reporting live from Abington, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.